Hi, this is Brandon. I've been designing Sword Searcher since 1994, and I'm the owner of StudyLamp Software. I'm going to show you three reasons to use Sword Searcher. The first is easy searching. When you type in a word, it shows you how many verses that word appears in. It gives you an easy way to search for multiple forms of the word, and suggests additional phrases. You can also type in multiple words or phrases. Here I'm typing God loves cheer, and Sword Searcher knows that I'm really looking for God loveth a cheerful giver. And look at this, I've typed in a poorly spelled Methuselah, but Sword Searcher knows the correct spelling and shows it to me right here. My search results are shown in a handy verse list panel like this. The second reason to use Sword Searcher is the Bible margin. Next to each verse, you can have links to your favorite reference material. This is completely configurable. You get to choose what is linked in your Bible margin. For example, next to Romans 10 verse 5, we've got a link to the Tory Topical Textbook. Here I can see the different entries in the Tory Topical Textbook that reference this verse. If I click on it, it's loaded in the book panel over here with a verse highlighted so that I could see it in context very easily. This is a great way to cross-reference by subject. Here's the outlines of the books of the Bible. This is a one-click way to see the verse in an outline of the entire book. Here you see I've got an Edit My Notes link. This is because I've created my own commentary called My Notes. You can create your own and call them whatever you want. If I click this link, I can write a note on the verse. I've saved my entry, and now you can see I've got a link to it here under My Notes. If I click this, it'll open in the commentary panel, and you can see it's also linked to the verse reference that I wrote for me automatically. The third reason to use Sword Searcher is easy referencing with the verse guide. Let me show you. I'm going to go to John chapter 1, verses 12 and 13. You can see the Bible panel has been set to John 1.12, and the verse guide is set to John 1.12-13. through 13. This shows me all of the books in my library that reference this verse. Now let's say I'm interested in Lewis Berry Schaefer's Essential Works. I could see here there are nine entries that reference this particular passage, and I could just click on one of these to read it. The other way the verse guide could be viewed is by title. This is a very interesting way to do a verse study because it groups all the various references by title. So for example, I could see that seven of the books in my library reference this passage under the term adoption. If I click it, it opens it up in the book panel here with the verse reference highlighted. So there are three reasons to use Sword Searcher. There are of course many, many more reasons. And on the website, you'll find videos that show these features in a more tutorial fashion. So I hope you'll come and take a look.